بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين ربنا زدنا علما أجمعين وعلمنا الكتاب آمين Alright, so any questions before we start? Any concerns? Any fresh ideas? No? Alright. Um, so this week we're going to be doing inshallah 9 and 10. And uh, maybe we can do a little bit of 11 too. Um, but lesson 9 is pretty big. Asalaamu Alaikum. Um, we're just going to go ahead and jump right in. Um, but, but let's review what we what we wrote, uh, what we said on Friday, right? Yes. What was the meaning of the adverb? Falka? Can someone tell him? Wait, the sentence? Falka means? Above. Above. Yeah. And what about what's under? Tahta. Uh, Alright, lesson nine was adjective, right? Qalamun jadidun. So, this means the pen is new. No. Oh, pen is the pen is new. Someone else said. No. The pen is new. No, it's not new. It's not new. Qalamun jadidun. Jadidu. You say what does it mean? Yes, what does it mean? New pen. A new pen, good. <laughs> that was the only thing left, I guess. <laughs> 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 Just oh. jealous you didn't get the answer. <laughs> what did the other one mean? The key to the what? S- it's already gone. <laughs> <laughs> you don't remember? <laughs> no, I don't, I'll ask me after class. Maybe I'll forget it by then too. <laughs> okay, so wh- why is this a new pen and not the pen or a pen is new? It's indefinite, right? Yeah. So it's it's qalamun. If it was al qalamu jadidun, then it would be the pen yep. is new. Yep. But this is a new pen. It's not a sentence. It's just a word. Right? So it's an adjective that's qualifying a noun. Okay. Um, and what did we say that the adjective agrees with in four cases with the noun? There's four things that it agrees with. What's one of them? Gender. Gender. So, qalamun is a masculine or feminine? Masculine. Masculine. So, jadidun is masculine. And then what else does it agree with? Definite. Definite or indefinite? Indefinite. So, qalamun is a definite or indefinite? Definite. Indefinite. Indefinite. Indefinite, a pen, and then jadidun is also indefinite. What else? Case. Case. So two dhammas means it's marfu'a, Marfu. Marfu, and then you have two dhammas here. What, what was the fourth one? Singular or plural. Singular or plural. Singular or plural. So qalamun uh, is a singular or plural? Plural. Singular. A pen. And then Jadidun is singular. Okay? That's basically it. Um, in Arabi, this is called Na'ad. So this is called Na'ad, an adjective. And the word that it's describing is called Manarud. 
what if I wanted, what if I added something like Kabir to here? Now what does it mean? A big, big new big, pen. A big new pen or a new big pen, right? So you're still ju you're just adding adding more and more adjectives. So this this would be what? Would it be a not or a manur? It would be a not, right? It's an adjective that's describing a manur. Alright, any questions? No? Okay. Let's do less than nine. What about the sifa? Sifa is not adjective. Sifa is another word. Yeah, it's another word. You can say this is a sifa and this is mosul. Yeah. Um, that was basically it. Alright, let's go to less than nine. So if you have the black and white book, it's page 47. And if you have the color book, what page is it on? 62. 62. Everyone find it? Alright. So, Ad Dars Ad Dasiru, lesson 9. Got it? 47. All right, um, brother Arthman, how about the first uh, first one? Man, man has a raju, man has a rajulu. Man has a rajulu, which means is this man? Did you say that or he? I don't know. It's his. It's his. Who is this man? Okay, read read the answer, brother Arthman. Who aba, who abasin, abasun. Who abasun, right? Who abasun means. Uh, he is Abbas. He is Abbas, or it is uh, Abbas. He is Abbas. Okay, uh, brother Anwar, next line. Uh, Abbasun Tajirun. Abbasun Tajirun means. Oh, that's already. Yeah, we said, right? Merchant. Yes. yes. Okay, hold on. Let's, let's stop here for a second. Abbasun. Okay, what we said that on Friday, um, every sentence, every nominal sentence has a muqtada and a khabar. It has a, uh, a subject and a predicate. Okay? Where, um, first of all, is this a complete sentence? Yes. yes. It is, right? Okay, so where is my subject? Uh, Abbas. Abbas is my subject, and what's my uh, predicate? Tajir. Tajir, right? So it's Abbas and Tajir, Abbas is a merchant. Okay, so just keep that in mind with all of the sentences. If it's a complete sentence, it's going to have mm -hmm. both of these parts. Uh, read the next one, Brother Anwar, too. Uh, Abbas Tajir. Uh, okay, Abbasun Tajirun Ghaniun, which means? That means Abbas, uh, uh, the, the uh, merchant, is, uh, is a, a rich, rich man. Okay, say the whole sentence in English again. Uh, Abbas. The, the, the merchant Abbas is rich. No. no. Just say it like normal. Uh, ab, ab, say it in order, right? So Abbas. Yeah, Abbas, merchant. Uh, uh, rich. Uh, rich. Abbas is a rich merchant. Okay. In this case, where this is a complete sentence. Okay, that's for that's the first hint. So the second, now we're gonna try to figure out where is the muqtada and where is the khabar. So where is my muqtada? Abbasun. Abbasun, right? I'm talking about Abbas, so he's my subject. All right, what's Tajirun? Merchant, the khabar. It's my khabar, okay. So what's, what does that make Ghaniyun? 
the adjective, the, the new. It's an adjective describing tajir, right? Yeah. So it's it's included with the khabar. It's 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 not by off by itself. But you're gonna if you're describing it, you're gonna say it's an adjective um, describing. Uh, I mean, the manood is tajirun, and the naat is ghaniyun. But you don't you don't want to mess it up and say it's uh, a, a subject. Okay, so here's my subject. Um, if I draw a line, subject predicate. Is it always the case where once you identify the subject, everything else will be predicate? No. So there's going to be other. Um, there can be parenthetical sentences uh, included. So you don't. But you, if you know the subject, though, it, you've done half your work. Right? And sometimes in the Quran and the Hadith, it's hard to figure out where the subject is. So if you get good at this right now. Um, it'll make it easier. Okay, um, you don't have the book, Brother uh, Afnan. Next sentence. Which means? Hamidun Mudarisun is a teacher, okay? Read the next sentence as well. Hamid? Hamid is a new teacher. So where is my Muqtada? Hamidun. And where is my Khabar? You don't. You, you don't mean second second cover, right? It's there's one cover. There's one cover. It's mudarrisun jadidun. So yeah, jadidun is the the naat. It's the adjective. All right. Next one, brother Najmul. Ma'aza. What is this? Ma'aza tufahun. Tufahun. Ma'aza tufahun means. This is an apple. This is an apple. Uh, where is my muftada in Haza Tufahun? Haza is muftada. Okay. Tufahun is khabar. Right? This is an apple, so Haza is your subject, and then Tufahun is the khabar. Um, Brother Ala, next. Al Tufahu Fakihatun Lazizatun. Al Tufahu Fakihatun Lazizatun means? This is a fruit. The apple, the apple is a fruit and it's delicious. The apple is a delicious fruit. The apple is a delicious fruit. So why why is lazi tun have a, a close tie at the end? Because fakihatun ha, is a is a feminine noun, right? Fakihatun means fruit, mm -hmm. and it ends with a, a close ta. So lazi ends with a close ta. Okay. Um, next one, Brother Sims, you have the book? Okay, can you read the next sentence? Okay. Maaz alika means? What is that? Okay. Usfurun. So, Zalika Usfurun. Usfurun means? A bird or sparrow, like a small bird. Um, and then, next um, next sentence, Sikhenzi. Ta'irun. Ta'irun. Mm -hmm. Sagirun. Al Ta'irun Sagirun means? So Usfurun is a sparrow. What's Ta'irun? Someone? Bird, right? So Usfur is a sparrow. Ta'ir is a bird and Sagir is small. So you're saying the, the sparrow is a small bird. Okay, where is my subject? Usfurun, right? I'm talking about al usfuru and what's my predicate? So I don't say I'm telling you that it's a small bird. Okay. Um, next one, Sister Moon. It's okay. Al-Ara. Al-Ara. 
Iya tuh. Lughatun Sahlatun Al-Arabiyyatu Lughatun Sahlatun What does that mean? Okay, what's Al-Arabiyya? Arabic, okay Lughatun Language Language And Sahlatun Easy Easy Right? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not easy. <laughs> no, it's easy. 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 Al Arabiya too is the language. Yeah, al Arabiya. Sister Tahir, next sentence. It's more praise of the Arabic language. <laughs> Arabic is a beautiful language. Al Arabiya tu Lughatun Jamilatun. Where is my subject? Arabic. Al Arabiya tu and where is my khabar? Lughatun Jamilatun. Lughatun Jamilatun, right? Beautiful language. Sister So because it's a, an example, the opposite, the, the yeah. word it's, that's going to follow is going to be opposite, right? So Mahmoud is a lazy, lazy student. Kaslanu <laughs> means lazy student. Okay. Um, back to you, is brother. Is Abdul, Abdul is a uh, Muqtada? No. Mahmoodun is Ma your Muqtada. Mahmoodun is Muqtada. Right. And Talibun Kaslanu is uh, Khabar. All right, brother Uthman, next one. Man anta. Which means? Who are you? Who are you? What is the answer? An atalibun. An atalibun, which means? I'm a student. I'm a student. Where is my muqtada? Ana. Ana, and where is my khabar? Talib. You have a question? Um, okay. Um, go ahead and finish for the Rasman next one. أعنت طالب جديد. Which means? Yes. Are you a new student? Are you a new student? What's the answer? نعم أنا طالب جديد. نعم أنا طالب جديد means? Yes. I am. I am a new student. I am a new student. Okay. So those were all of those examples. Um, would not. Okay. Is that the only one word for new, like cloth new, book new, and student new, same thing? For new things. Yeah, but I mean, it's a student thing. A new student or a yeah. new book. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I mean, you say this, it's the same in English, right? Yeah, you do. You say it's a, it's a new book or a new student. So there, it's the same in English and out of you. New house. 
I mean, you no in Arabic it is like that because yeah. we don't have that much new like different words for everything you can. Yeah, but like feeling right. So you in English you just say I feel scared, happy, sad, da 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 da. In Arabic those are all different verbs. <laughs> so there is like khiftu, I'm scared. Um, farihtu, I was happy. So there's a, there are all different words for each different feeling. Mm -hmm. So most of the Arabic word is started with the four letters, isn't it? Four letters? Yeah, like a Talibun, Jadid. So th these are all patterns that you're noticing, right? So yeah. notice the pattern of Tajirun, Talibun. Um, what else? Jadidun. Ta'irun. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. And then there, so those are all patterns of um, someone doing something or someone being something like student or, or you know, um, trader. Then you have Jadidun and you have Qadimun. So those are all patterns. We're going to learn that, inshallah. Put a star on the first exercise. That's your homework. Um, next exercise. Let's let's uh, let's do the next exercise. ضعف الفراغ في الجملة الآتية نعتن مناسبا. So put in the blanks of the following sentences a um, a suitable adjective. So the first one خديجة طالبة خديجة is a student. What do I put in the blank? If I want to say new, then I say Jadida Tun. Jadida Tun. So the, the Tun has to agree with the Taliba, right? The, it has to agree with the Taliba Tun. So you can say Kasla. Uh, actually, there's another word for that. So Kaslanu is only for male. So we're gonna. That's gonna be. So you cannot make. You cannot yeah. say Khadija tu Taliba tu Kaslan. There is another word for that. Oh. So what about the hardworking? So how would you say she's a hardworking student? Mujtahida tu. Mashallah. With a tam or buta at the end. Next one, Khalidun Tajirun. How would you say he's a poor merchant? Khalidun Tajirun? Faqirun. Okay. Al Arabiyatu Lugatun Saabun. Saabatun. Hard, right? No, it's Sahlatun. That's what you're saying. Saabun? Saabun. 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 Very hard. Arabic people are very hard. Saabun. You know, once you speak Arabic, you're considered Arabic. You're considered an Arab. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Sabun means difficult. Sabun. Sabun. How do you write that soap sabun? sabun. Oh, that's sabun. Yeah, how do you write that? Sabun. No. No. Soap. I thought it said no. There's different ways to spell it. Uh, next one, al usfuru ta'irun. The sparrow is a, how do you say, small uh, bird? Ta'irun? Ta'irun. Sagirun. Ta'irun, sagirun. Al-tufahu fakihatun. How do you say delicious? Ladhiza tun, right? Because it's fakihatun, so it's ladhiza tun, delicious uh, food. Ana uh, mudarrisun, how do you say I'm a new teacher? Jadidun. Jadidun, ana mudarrisun jadidun. Or if you're female, ana mudarrisatun jadidatun. Muhammadun tabibun, Muhammad is a, how do you say? Kasalu. How do you say a lazy doctor? <laughs> Okay. How do you say it, Brother uh, Osman? Lazy what? Doctor? Yeah. Muhammadun Tabibun? Tabibun Kaslan. Kaslan. Lazy doctor. Kaslan. Al-Ingaliziya Lughatun Sa'batun. 
<laughs> if you think Arabic is hard, try learning English. Ha- has anyone learned English from like when they were well, past the age of 10? No? Okay. You did? After the age of 10? Okay. Was it hard? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it's, it's not, there was a lot of stuff to know. Uh, yeah. Uh, okay, number nine. Uh, are you a student? How do you say, are you a uh, new student? Al Qahiratu Madinatun, how do you say an old city? So this is Cairo, is an old, how do you say an old city? Madinatun. Qadimatun, right? Madinatun is a city but it ends with a closed da. So you have to put Qadimatun. So Madinatun is city. A city. Ah, uh, no. So Madina, the word Madina used to mean a city. Uh, and really the name for the the, wor- the city Medina in, in Saudi Arabia is Medina Tul Munawwara the city or, or Medina Tul Nabi it was known as or you can say the, the, the city of the Prophet here in 9 uh, if you want to say I'm the Taliban or old student so what do you say? what's the word for old? Qadim Qadim um, number f- three is just like the same one except now you're putting the manarut instead of the naat so you're putting the word you just have to make sure that it matches the the same gender case definiteness manarut is the noun that is being described um, all right, let's do the fourth exercise, Iqra. Okay, what does kaslanu mean? Lazy. Lazy. Uh, what does jaw'anu mean? Yeah. No. No. Sorry? Hungry. What is atshanu? Thirsty. Thirsty. Angry, the Qadban. Oh, it's in the back, yeah. Qadban yeah. was angry and Mal'anu? Mm-hmm. Someone say it? Happy. Mal'an. Oh, full. Mal'anu oh, oh. is full. It's not here in the list. It should be in the lesson 9. Lesson 9. Already. Alright, let's do the, um, oh, we're on the fourth exercise, sorry. Uh, first one, Ana Jawanu means? I am hungry. I am hungry, okay. Um, second one, Anta Jawanu means? Are you hungry? Are you hungry? And if the answer is La Ana Atshanu? Sorry, Sister Kenzie. You say Joanu. Did, did I make it a No, like I thought like when you did like when you were talking to a male, you had X or a girl, you had X for 
No, no, that's only for anta and anti. So the word anta means you if you're talking to a male. Anti means you if, if the person you're addressing is a female. So it doesn't, it's it's not for other words. You get it? So that's just a dialect thing then? Like someone says halakuzuri. Like when you ask someone like how they are, like if you're talking to a girl, you say like he has it, but you're talking to a girl. Okay, for right? Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, that that's also the other thing. So the ka and the ki, like kutubuk or kutubuka, that that's gonna be also for male and female, but not for. Is it for also Joanne? Jo- I, I know because yes, in some of the dialects, like adding the kasra, the e mostly refers to when you're a female. Yeah. Or when you're talking to a someone like But even then, you would say ana abaddi, right? You you still say if you're a male ana Yeah. Or like if you're asking someone, do they want like you ask like a boy just asking. yeah. Mhm. It's not like that. <laughs> um, and uh, the the verbs are conjugated like that in dialect, but they're not co- conjugated like that in um, fusha. Okay. Yeah. But brother, when you say that's your book, you would say. No. Kitabu. Ki, if you're talking to a female, kitabu ki. No, no. If I'm saying that's my book. Kitabi. Yeah. But uh, would that change if it, if you're if you're a female in dialect? No, I I didn't agree with that part. That's part of what you're saying. Right? You're saying it yourself. Is better. Yeah. Yeah. No. It, it actually, yeah, uh, it's it's gonna be different, I think, for a female. But for now, it's just Joanne and Kaslan and Atshanu. Okay, what's La and Atshanu? We're still on number two. No, I am, no, I am thirsty. thirsty. All right, number three. Limaza al mudarrisu ghadban al yom. Ooh, someone figure this one out. Why is the me- teacher mad today? Limaza. Yeah. Limaza means. What is today? means today. And why? Limaza is why. So why is the mudarris angry today? Why is he? I don't know. Maybe he. Maybe he's uh, Joanne. <laughs> okay, number four. Al kubu mal anu. Amin. What does al kubu al mal anu mean? Al kubu mal anu. What's al kubu? Cup. 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 Uh, the cup is full. The cup is full. Is that the this is the Yauma and Yaumu. We have two new words here in this. Is this something in the color book? Is it 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 something in the color All right, let's take a two minute, three minute break and then we'll be back and finish up.
So part B of uh, lesson 9 is basically the same thing. New word. Uh, there is one new word or there is one new concept. So what does this say? Al-Ladhi al right? This means Who? Right? So this is going to be uh, when you're going to be writing parenthetical sentences inside sentences. Um, is this in the Quran a lot? Yes. Yes. Right? Huwa al-Ladhi arsala rasulahu bil huda. So he is the one talking about Allah, the one who sent his uh, his messenger with the uh, with the guidance. So who al-ladhi? Um, so al-ladhi means for who, but it's only for male um, and singular. Okay. Um, what's for? How can we uh, differentiate between this one and uh, man? So man is you're gonna usually use it for sentences. I mean, I'm sorry, for questions. 
So you're going to say man anta. Right? That's a question. Or man, man hada, who is this? Um, you can't, there, in the Quran, I think they use, uh, it's you, man is sometimes used in sentences. Um, but this is if you're describing someone, right? Huwa allazi, attajir allazi yashtari. The merchant is someone who sells stuff, okay? Or buys stuff. You're saying who, but isn't also like the one? The one who. Yeah, that's another, the one who. So, what's al -lazina? That's in the Quran, right? Ya ayyuha al -lazina. What's al -lazina for? It's those who... So it's it's for plural. Okay, I'm just showing this to you because it's you see it in the Quran, um, but it's gonna it's gonna be a formula introduced later. So Allazina is those who, um, ya ayu Allazina amen, right? O you who believe, O you who believe, okay? um, or those who believe. Um, the other thing is. The thing, other thing we're going to learn is Rinda. Rinda. Rinda means? Good. Good. Okay. So this is a prepo, no, not a preposition. It's an adverb. And the, the noun that follows it is going to be Ism Majur. Okay. Um, so if I have. Uh, If I say he is with the principal, huwa inda, how do you say the principal? Mudiv. Al Mudiv. So what am I going to put uh, under Mudiv? Kasra. Kasra, right? Inda Mudiv because of the the adverb inda. So whatever follows it is going to be majrur. Inda Mudiv. He is with the principal. So habja. It's not harf jar, it's uh, al zarf like um, tahta. Yes. It's like tahta, fawqa, um, what else did we say? Khalfa, imama, right? Imama in front of, khalfa behind. Just like that. What is that? Inda means with. Yeah. So, huwa inda al mudiri, he is with the. Principle. Okay. Just say one more time, please. Where do we use man and where do we use Allah? You use man. Man means who, right? Man, you use it usually uh, for a set, for a question. Man anta, man haza, who is, who are you, who is this, right? Um, Allazi is more going to be used in sentences um, and it doesn't really mean who it just means the, the one who you're describing something if I if I if I'm talking about the doctor who is uh, you know who is so and so we're gonna let's read the example and then we'll um, see how it's used okay. um, but I'll read it and then you guys translate. We have what page is that? So we're on page 50 on the black and white book. And then what's, what page is that on the color book? Yeah. Is that it? 55? Brother Anwar, can you share with uh, Ayami? Yes. Okay. Ayn al mudarrisu. Where is? The teacher, okay. Who are Phil? Fasli, right? Why is it Fasli? Because of Harjar. The fi came, so Al Faslu becomes Al Fasli. He is in the classroom, okay. Wa ain al mudarrisul jadidu. And where is the teacher? The new teacher. The new teacher, right? So again, you notice um, in this one, you notice. Say Aina 
المدرس مدرس So I have the teacher. Now I want to say the new teacher. Uh, what's new? Jadidun, right? Jadidun. Jadidun. All right. But since so Jadidun is an adjective describing mudarris, so I have to match it on all four counts, right? What's the first count? Uh, gender. So these are both masculine, right? Uh, if this was feminine, this would have a close style, but it doesn't. Second one, it has to match indefiniteness, definiteness, right? So, does this have al? Mm -hmm. So I need an al right here, right? Mm -hmm. So when I write my al, mm -hmm. I get rid of one of the dhammas. Mm -hmm. uh, are they both singular? Mm -hmm. Yes. And are they both mm -hmm. marfu? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. All right. So they're both. Now they both match. So now you're saying, where is the new teacher? So you can say that now. Um, all right. Hua indal mudiri. What does that mean? He is with the, the principal. Right? He is with the principal. Okay. Inda means with. So whatever follows it gets a kasra or majur. Aina talibul jadidu. Where is the new student? Where is the new student? Right. Again, at talibu al jadidu. So the al matches. Um, That's only adjective, right? Yes, for adjectives, the gender, the case, the sing, the definite, indefinite, and the, the other thing matches. All right, next sentence, ذَهَبَ إِلَى الْمَكْتَبَةِ What does that mean? What's maktaba? Maktab is a desk. Maktaba to library or bookshop. ذَهَبَ إِلَى الْمَكْتَبَةِ So he went to the bookshop or library. Alright, so now we're going to see الَّذِي Alright, so listen carefully. مَنْ ذَلِكَ الرَّجُلِ What does مَنْ ذَلِكَ الرَّجُلِ mean? Who is, Who that, is that man? الطَّوِيلُ مَنْ ذَلِكَ الرَّجُلِ الطَّوِيلُ Tall. Who is that? Tall, Tall man. الَّذِي خَرَجَ الآن من المدرسة. Who entered? What's خرج؟ Who left? Right now. What's yes. الآن؟ Now. Now. الآن means now. Yeah. من المدرسة means from the from the school. From the school. From the school. So who is that tall man who left now from the masjid? From the mother. From the school. Oh, sorry, from the from the school. Madrasa. Man dalika rajul al-tawilu al-ladhi kharaj al-an min al-madrasa fi. Who is that tall man who left from the who left now from the school? So al-ladhi here is used in to describe the man, right? He left the one who left from the masjid now or the madrasa now. So that is like all of them who left. Right. So, who al mudiru al jadidu? What does that mean? He is. He is the new principal. He is the new principal. All right. Where is my subject? What's my subject? Who? Who? And what's uh, what? Khabar. Al al mudiru al jadidu. Al mudiru al jadidu. The new principal. Right. So, in this ca in this case, just who is my subject? Next one, وَمَنْ الْوَلَدُ الصَّغِيرُ What's وَمَنْ الْوَلَدُ الصَّغِيرُ? Who is a small boy? Who is the small boy? الَّذِي خَرَجَ الْآنْ مِنَ الْفَصْلِ Who left now from the class? Who left now from the class? Is it Amin? هو ابن المدير الجديد He is the son of... He is the son of the... Of the new principal. The new principal. He is the son of the new principal. Al Al Ana. Al Ana is now. So this Al is not B. It's just Al Ana. The whole word, the word is new or 
It's a word. I mean, it's not the word. Right. It's, I mean, yeah, you don't say the now, but it's the it's, it's, yeah. That's how we say now. Al an. Yes. You never take. You never say ana. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Because Anna means different. I think so, yeah. I'm actually not sure about that. Okay. Well, go ahead. And uh, the Kuwamanil Waladu, yes. Manil, we never know the source. Yeah. So, how, wh why is this saying uh, Manil? This Y is not N, right? This, this Y. Y it doesn't mean N. No, it means N. N. But why is it saying Manil? Because of al, right? So when you have a hamzatul wasl and a lam, so it's, it, it is originally man, but you where you're saying man al, you don't say man al walad, you say manil walad. Huwabnu, huwa ibnu or huwabnu al mudir al jadid. He is the son of the new principal. All right, next page. لمن تلك السيارة الجميلة That beautiful car belongs to who or who does that beautiful car belong to? هي للمدير الجديد It belongs. It is for the new principal. The new principal. And why is Al Mudiri and Al Jadidi have kasra? Why is Al Mudiri have a kasra? Because it's a Jadidi description. Li, right? So Li is a harf jar. So the noun that follows it is a majoor. Why is Al Jadidi have kasra? To match the Mudiri. Good. Liman has Al Kitabu Al Kabiru. Uh, whose, whose big book is this? Ahuwa lil mudarrisi? Is it for the principal or is it for the teacher? Is it belong to the teacher? La, huwa lil talib al jadidi. It is for the new students. It belongs to the new students. Huwa lil talib al jadidi. Alright. Two more. Ain al milaqatu al sagiratu. Where is the spoon? Where is the small spoon? Here, fill cup. Is it a cup? It's in the cup. Ain al kursiyu al maksuru. Where is the broken chair? Where is the broken chair? Huwa hunak. Hunak is here. Hunak means there. There. So it is there. I know we went through this fast, but I just wanted to get to the end so that we can. Uh, I can give you more homework. That's why. Well. <laughs> so the the ikra waktu, the first exercise is your homework. So those are the, those are all the exercises, but you're only doing the first one. So the first one in part B and the first one in part A. So you have two ikra waktubs. Read and write. This one has ten sentences. Read them, translate them, or say them out loud. And then the ones that we did in the, thir the first part of the lesson. Alright, Zakullah Khair, Assalamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.